<laughs> okay, I was not expecting that whatsoever. The ending of this episode was something else. This series is a lot like my videos. It's very incoherent, right? It starts off somewhere and then ends up somewhere completely different. The entire beginning and middle half of the episode was just a continuation of last week's episode. We're dealing online harassment that's directed towards Akane. Now, in the last episode, she tried to end her own life because of all the consistent cyberbullying she was receiving from the internet because they only had one perspective of her. So the group got together led by Aqua and they decided to film a video from a different perspective, showing the cast view on Akane. They record this video in secret, they publish it, and the video does really well. A lot of people start swaying to the other side and start defending Akane. And for the most part, for the majority of the episode, that's where I thought this episode was going to end off at. I was like, okay, this is pretty wholesome, right? They're, this girl dealt with really traumatic issues and now they're helping her, bringing her back, helping sway people on her side instead of against her. However, the episode ended off on a cliffhanger I was not expecting. So the crew basically tells Akane, maybe you should play character because obviously you just went through some very harsh stuff and people are going to be very critical because they don't want her exposing her true self anymore so they decide to go with the ideal girl for aqua right and aqua just basically describes i so they point out that he's basically just describing i they notice it so akane decides to go through with this and akane is already an actor so she starts to learn the character of i she starts to go online she starts to do research on i it gets a little bit creepy because she's like she's literally going crazy she's re researching the most littlest of details details not only when she's on screen but when she's off screen her livelihood her secrets and how she was as a person how she carried herself to the very detail of how she would eat ramen or how she would hold chopsticks right Akane studied all of this and then the next day when they meet up Akane puts on this personification where she literally embodies I Hoshino and that's where the episode ends like the Aqua literally sees it Aqua is shocked even everything down to the starry eyes right she embodies Ai's character really well and Aqua was shocked because in the beginning of the episode Aqua literally said that it's impossible to recreate this you have to be born like this and that's why I said this episode is quite incoherent right because in the beginning of the episode I was thinking maybe this is just going to be a wholesome episode like they bring Akane back they save her and they sway people to her side I thought that's how the episode was going to go I did not expect it to turn like this. I don't know if Akane has some sort of mental health issues. I'm not 100% sure. I can't really tell. I'm not like a psychologist where I'm able to diagnose this. But I'm curious. I question her mental health. I really do. And I have a feeling this is what the show is going to tackle next because we've been tackling a lot of themes within the entertainment industry. So this could necessarily be the next theme. I'm really just sitting here and appreciating how good of an anime this really is, man. They are doing everything exceptionally well, right? The plot, there's an overarching plot, but then there's also subplots that, you know, are very entertaining and each subplot deals with its own themes, whereas the overarching plot still is constantly present oh man they do everything so good and then not to mention the animation the quality the realism of this anime and how real it can be at times i'm honestly considering it this is definitely one of my favorite animes i've ever seen like obviously there's still a couple episodes left and it could end on a bad note or it could end on a very good note but as of right now first seven episodes it's one of my favorite animes I've ever seen to date. Uh, Oshinoko, man. I have nothing but praise for this anime. A lot of people do try to hate, but you could see the quality in the work. I Because of this anime, I think after I finish Moriarty the Patriot, because that's the anime I'm currently watching on my own time, once I finish Moriarty the Patriot, I think the next anime I'm going to pick up uh, will be Kaguya-sama Love is War, just because it's made by the same author. I know they're not similar, but I, I just want to see more of this author's works. I, I just do. Uh, but listen, if you want more anime content, manga content, make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. I talk about all things anime, manga related. Anyways, peace out, everyone.